Hi, I am Dr. Juliana Kennedy. I would like to teach you a little about allergial syndrome. Allergial syndrome is a rare inherited disorder that affects the liver, but can also affect many other organs in the body. A healthy liver contains numerous bile ducts. You can think of the ducts like pipes that are important for draining bile from the liver into the intestines to help digest food and remove toxins from the body. The characteristic problem in allergial syndrome is having too few of these bile ducts, resulting in a buildup of bile, which is toxic to the liver and will result in yellowness of the skin. Allergial syndrome occurs in people with a genetic mutation, typically in a gene called JAG1. A child may inherit the mutation from an affected parent. However, this mutation can also occur by accident in a person whose parents are not affected. While the liver diseases are focused today, People with allergial syndrome can have abnormalities in other organ systems, such as the heart, eyes, kidneys, and bones. Doctors may also recognize a triangular shaped face with a prominent forehead and a pointed chin. When allergial syndrome is suspected, a variety of tests can be done to help with the diagnosis. A liver biopsy is often performed where a small piece of the liver is taken and looked at under the microscope, revealing too few bile ducts. Genetic testing can also be done to confirm a mutation. Other evaluations are important to look for the various associated features. When a diagnosis of allergial syndrome is made, a team of doctors will work together to manage the complex disease. A pediatric liver doctor, known as a hepatologist, will monitor the function of the liver and the degree of bile buildup. Bile plays an important role in nutrition, and without adequate bile flow, nutrition and growth issues can occur. Hepatologists will monitor overall nutrition and prescribe vitamin supplements as necessary. The buildup of bile can also result in significant itching, which can be minimized by appropriately prescribed medications. Newer medications have been shown to significantly improve itching and positively impact patients' lives. The extent of liver disease and allergial syndrome can vary greatly, with some experiencing very high bilirubin levels in infancy, but others only developing signs of liver disease later in life. Those who are more severely affected may require a liver transplant. Indications for transplant include liver failure, severe itching, bone fractures, and growth failure. The hepatologist will facilitate frequent visits to help prevent and treat complications and to help ensure patients live more comfortable lives.